Oh boy, that, mo that movie was so good. Now, before I continue on with anything, I will probably be talking about some spoilers for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, so... If you haven't watched the movie yet, go watch it before watching this, because I will be explaining my thoughts. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and talk about my thoughts. Like, it's basically... Uh, it was basically a really nice movie, especially as a hardcore fan. So, yeah, and I'm I'm not going to be including any images or videos or, heck, any music from the movie. Just in case if any of that stuff is copyrighted. So, yeah, I'll, it's just going to be me in front of my camera talking about my thoughts. So, yeah. it The plot is, especially was very interesting because it's like... The main character, Mike, was trying to figure out who killed his brother. And it's like, he was, and it's like, he was having all these dreams, like, to try to figure out, like, who did it. Like, back when he was a kid, like, he tried to figure out who did it. And it's like, and w I remember, it's like, I was thinking to myself, it's like, these have to be the spirits of the children that are possessing these animatronics. So... Yeah, and it's like, it's really cool, and speaking of which, and speaking of Mike, I really like how Mike is played by the same person who played PETA in the Hunger Games movies. I don't know if I'm the only person who picked that up, like, other than my parents, because they were the ones who told me that that was the case, but, he, but yeah, and it's like, it's very cool, because, because it's like, He's trying to survive again, basically. <laughs> but, yeah. And then, there was also, like, <laughs> there was that one scene where the animatronics were, like, they were having a good time with everyone, like, like, with Mike, his sister, I think her name was Abby, and then the police officer, Vanessa, which, that reminds me, and it's like, there was, I remember, like, there was a theory I had, because considering we saw Springtrap in the commercials, I mean, like, in the trailers, like, that's who I thought kidnapped and killed Mike's brother. I forgot his name. So, please, someone let me know in the comments. So, yeah. It's like, I had that theory, and, I tur and it turned out I was correct. And, I mean, I was not surprised hearing the name of the killer was, in fact, William Afton. However, I was surprised to hear that that he was the police officer Vanessa's father, but then again, William Afton did have a daughter, and and the spirit of his daughter in the lore possessed the animatronic of Circus Baby from Sister Location. So yeah, that I mean that does make sense if you think about the lore. So yeah, and it's, and that reminds me too. It's like. Hard, as a hardcore FNAF fan, that was a interest. That was a really fun movie. It's like it's just like with the Super Mario Bros. movie. Um, it was like critics don't like it, but audiences do like it. It's like I don't know why. Maybe it's like I, yeah. It's like maybe the critics aren't that hardcore video game fans, but that that's just my theory. I don't know the true reason, but that's just my theory. But yeah, and it's like. There were some, there were some really nice cameos in there as well. Like, like when we see, like there was this waiter. That waiter was actually played by Matt Pat, and then the taxi driver, like that took Abby and Golden Freddy to, uh, to Freddy Fazbear's. Like we saw him in the trailer, but he was played by Corey Kenshin, who is one of my favorite YouTubers to who is one of my favorite YouTubers that I watch his videos to. In fact, it's like I plan on making some Cory Kenshin reactions, like, soon, like, depending on when he uploads again. But, yeah, that it, that honestly was very cool. And if I remember correctly, there was, like, an Employee of the Month little area hidden somewhere, and there were even more YouTuber cameos in that little on that little employee of the month platter as well like i saw Docco and 8-bit ryan on there um i don't recognize most of the other ones but that is that but yeah and then what else oh yeah and then there was 
<laughs> there was at the and what's really interesting, spoiler, is that Springtrap doesn't appear until- Is that Springtrap, William Afton, doesn't appear until the very end of the movie, like, until the climax. And I find really fun- I find really cool how it's like they changed out the drawing to- To, um, make the animatronics remember that he was their murderer. And he ended up getting- the spring lock failure in the suit, and then, the, and then let's like before he put the head back on, he said Scrap Trap's famous phrase, "I always come back." So that was really cool. And as they take him away, and it's as they take him away, it's like Freddy Fazbear's, like the pizzeria starts to crumble around them, the inside of it at least, which I find really cool. But yeah, this. Video isn't really that gonna be that long because I didn't really have much to talk about, but yeah, I think that is everything that I wanted to talk about. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this. Like, hopefully, after you watch the FNAF movies. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Like, this was a slightly different video than what I normally do because I don't normally do videos on my thoughts on anything like this is the first time I've done it it's just considering I've been a huge Five Nights at Freddy's fan and I've been collecting all the merch for it especially the plushies and the mystery minis I wanted to go ahead and make this video since it's well a Five Nights at Freddy's movie but yeah that's going to be it for this little video let me know if you enjoyed it because I might make more in the future if you guys do enjoy it but yeah Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and ringing the bell for updates on new videos because I'm currently in the because I'm currently in the process of making a Halloween theme FNAF plush video that I will be uploading tomorrow because tomorrow is in fact Halloween. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you then. See you guys.